Hey guys, it's Angel here. Today is going to be a satisfying extreme cleaning day. As many of you know, I am turning this space into a beautiful walk-in closet. Finally, guys, I am able to get my items from out of the basement into a designated area fit for mom the eBayer. Yeah, buddy. So what I'll do is do a quick panoramic view of this space so you guys can see just what it is that I'm working with. And um, I'm really looking forward to changing this from blah into ah. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I found hair in this area. Hair that I will be using to do box braids for myself as well as Haley. And I actually got this hair off of Amazon for those that's interested. Uh, I will put the link down in the description box. Really good hair for box braids. I'm gonna use the box that had the hair in it. I'm gonna use that box to store all of Samuel's books, activity books that I found. Over in this space is where I keep my big ticket items. Because I don't have the space to house this stuff, I think I'm going to go ahead and just donate everything in this room and start over. Oh my goodness, I can't believe Samuel's keepsakes box is in here. It's a good thing I am cleaning out this space. When I use this space, to store all of Samuel's presents from the baby shower, I forgot to take that out and put it downstairs in the basement with Taylor and Haley's keepsakes box. So now that I have it, I am going to take it and put it in a safe place. In this bag, I received a lot of brand new clothes with tags on it from my mom. A lot of the stuff Samuel can no longer fit and I will be donating this stuff to a young lady that um, is in dire need of this stuff for her son that's going to be born in January. So I'm excited about giving her that stuff. So to keep this stuff from accumulating again in the basement, I am just going to take all of this stuff and donate it. I do know once I recreate my closet and everything is organized, I would never have this space looking like this again. So this bag I received from my sister last year. And inside, guys, I have some of my favorite games. I use this bag on the go when we're going over family and friends' house. This is my game bag because I don't like going places and not being able to be interactive with those that um, I am around. Even the toys over here in this area will be getting donated and yes i found everything in the trash 
brand new toys, never been opened, never been used. This is where I keep all of my eBay props. When I'm taking pictures, I like to have a few little props that allow me to stand out from the other sellers. I want to say when I first started dumpster diving eight years ago, these are the feet that I bought to use for my shoes. When you sell on eBay, it's always a good thing, I think, to have those little feet inside so a person that's looking at the shoe can get a visual as to what their foot will look like in the shoe. And it also allows the shoe to go into formation because you don't want to have a shoe on eBay that's flattened or not propped up right because it will not look right and it will be an eyesore to those that's trying to purchase. This is the paint that I decided on. It's called Flexible Gray. It's the Sherman Williams brand, um, the Emerald Designer Edition. I'm not sure if this color is something that I really, really want. I wanted a really light color so it can look absolutely amazing when I do my vlogs, but I'll have to just go with this color and hope that it will turn out okay. I'm not sure, we'll see. I'm just gonna have to stick with it. Now for this floor to ceiling mirror. It's basically a door mirror. But as you know, when there's a mirror, there's dancing. I gotta do some dancing, y'all. I, I just, it just wouldn't be me if I didn't do some dancing. speakers will not be donated actually I will sit these speakers outside for another dumpster diver to get them I'm sure they will be gone in a matter of minutes so let's talk about these streamers such a beautiful backdrop for photos and that's exactly what I used it for last year for Friendsgiving. It made a great, great addition to the party. We had a room designated for photos and uh, we used those streamers. I got the streamers off of Amazon. I paid about 40 bucks because I bought three packets. Um, really, really great quality. I wanna say guys, it was such, such a great, great addition to my party. So many people uh, were there and we all went into the photo booth guys and had ourselves a party, party, photo party time, honey. We took so many photos that year. And it's so unfortunate because I wanted to do Friendsgiving again this year, but because of COVID, you know, it stopped a lot of our uh, festivities. And it's so unfortunate because I was really looking forward to it. It's really hard to see these streamers go, but I gotta take them down.
you can see the sun is setting and I am almost done. Now these trunks, I think I'm going to keep the bottom one, but I will be donating the other two. I, I'm gonna find a great idea on Pinterest. I love Pinterest. All the decorating ideas that I get comes from Pinterest. All the crafting ideas that I get, they come from Pinterest. Pinterest is such a nice hub for all of those that's interested in DIY projects. You're never fully aware as to how much dust and grit and little pieces of paper you collect on the floor until you clean out that space, you realize just how much dust is on your floor. I wanna give a huge shout out to my wonderful husband who is assisting me with this project. He is uh, actually assembling all the pretty uh, paint sticks and putting the paint inside of the room. Um, as you can see, he is trying to figure out how he'll paint my room. was very tiring. So now that we have that out of the way, as you can see, we have an echo, echo, echo. And um, now the hardest part, guys, is my, my press face. I'm not sure what to do with that. I really don't want to take it down, but I got to if I want everything to be uniform. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking it down, guys. This was a lot of work.
guys, so here is the room. I'm gonna come back this way, so I had to stop because of course we got the kitty -os. But this is pretty much it. This is this is the finished room. So now I'm gonna have to put some paint strip around here. Uh, I gotta put paint strip around there because I don't wanna get paint on the borders. I need to get some more switch covers. Now this is my prayer room. I'm still not finished with that. But hey, I have to stop because I gotta get to these children. But I just wanted to show you guys the after. I'm looking forward to seeing you know, the end result of this room. I got a lot of work to do, you guys. I got a lot of work to do, honey. Look at that. Look at all of that. I think I did a pretty good job. All right, guys, so that is basically it. As you can see, we have a lot of work to do. Um, I'm excited, though. I'm really, really looking forward to being in my new space. How many of you guys remember on the Cosby Show when Claire had the French doors? And she said, inside? Inside, outside, inside. And then she got on the floor and did this. That's just what I'm going to do when I get my new space. All right, guys, so I will see you in the next YouTube video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, guys. As always, leave comments down in the comment section because I enjoy interacting with you guys. All right, so that is it. Until next time. Peace.